Hi everyone, I'm back today. Didn't manage to video yesterday, but today we're going to film uh, the story of a squash and a squeeze. It's written by Julia Donaldson and uh, the illustrations are all by Axel Scheffler um, and it's one of my favourite books because it rhymes. So let's have a go. We're going to read the whole story today. Beautiful end page, look. With all the animals on, it gives you a clue about the story. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. Sit this side so you can see better. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. She wants some help. She says there's too much in her house. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen, what a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. Oh dear. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed at the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. Oh dear, it's already a squash and a squeeze. This wise old man's telling her to put more in the house. The little old lady cried, glory be, it was time tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your pig, said the your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig, what a curious plan. So she took in her pig who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. She's not gonna have any food left. That pig keeps eating it all. The little old lady cried, Stop, I implore, it was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. I bet you could join her with the next one. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow, what a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig. Then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. Oh, look, he's dancing on the table. The little old lady cried, Heaven's alive! It was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man, but then I'll be back to where I began. So she opened the window and flew out the hen and out flew the hen. That's better, at last I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house. It's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weenie for five. It's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle dee -dees. Isn't it? It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle dee -dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. I love that story. It's all about the little old lady. She was feeling a bit sorry for herself. She thought she had a small house. So the wise old man said to put all four animals in. And then she realised that actually on her own, her house wasn't that small. I would like you to write a letter to this little lady about how she should be more grateful for what she has been given. And how now she realises that her house isn't a squash or a squeeze. 
until tomorrow. Good luck with your letter.